recently, in collaboration with Scott Small, a postdoctoral fellow in my lab, Elias Papadopoulos, has made a very nice finding. Um, he um, looked at the brains of people who died at various ages, from 35 to 90, uh, and he explored a region thought to be involved in age-related memory loss, called the dente gyrus, and he compared it to a region involved in Alzheimer's disease called the entorhinal cortex. And he looked for alterations in gene expression that were specific to dente gyrus, to age-related memory loss, and not to the entorhinal cortex. He identified 20 genes that were selectively altered, and one was particularly interesting because it declined systematically from age 35 to age 90. Um, and so we began by exploring that. That gene is called RBAB48. Then we looked at the mouse as it ages. And sure enough, we found that RBAB8 decreases with age. It's much reduced in elderly mice and only in the dentate gyrus. We then said, what happens if we take a young mouse and reduce the level of RBAB48? When we did that, we did behavioral tests, and sure enough, the mouse showed age-related memory loss. What happens if we take an old mouse and restore the gene? We did that, and we could rescue age-related memory loss. So this is all consistent with the fact that RBAB48 is an important contributor to age-related memory loss. Now it's interesting because it is in a pathway that had previously been shown important in memory storage. It binds to CREP. CREP is a transcription factor that turns on genes for long-term memory and it has a coactivator called the CREP binding protein and the CREP binding protein needs RBAB48 to turn on histone acetylation. So this is part of a complex whose identity we had in part known about before. As my mother would say, your word in God's ears. Why not? I don't see why not. I don't see why we couldn't come up with interesting pharmacological approaches to this. But we'll have to see. We also will have to see whether other genes are also involved. This is an important gene, but we have no reason to believe it's the only gene, unlikely to be the only gene. All these systems are present in people. The dente gyrus is defective as far as one can tell in people. So it may very well be a candidate, but we can't be sure until we try it in people.